Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a flip through of this book here. This is called Bloom. It's an adult coloring book and um, let's see. I'm trying to find the artist's name on here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it tells you. So what I'm going to do is leave a link down below on this one, um, like I do on all my books. But I found this on Amazon, and I loved the front cover, and I did one of those little, you know, look through, you hit that button, <laughs> and it flips through. And this is all on flowers, and they're single-sided with black on the other side, and we will we'll get in and let you look. So, front cover. The pages in here are going to resemble all of this here. So they are sketched in with like pen lines. And like I said, one side is going to have the black. So on the back of this, there is a black page. All of them, single sided. You can use your markers if you want. Put a piece of paper or two in between so it doesn't bleed through to the next paper because these are thin. On this side of the page, they will tell you the name of this flower here. So here we have a rose, and like I said, it's like um, you would sketch this in with like a ballpoint pen. They got some really cool pictures. And then on the other side, you get the name on this side, so you always know what flower this is on over here. Magnolia, hydrangea. It's done on kind of a cream paper, and it's a little tiny thicker than um, still probably Amazon type paper. It's thin. It'll bleed through if you use any kind of marker. And even if you're using pencil, if you use a hard hand on it, you probably will dent the next page. So you always want to put a paper behind it. So hydrangea, lily. I mean, you can read, so I don't need to do that, right? <laughs> Very pretty pages, though. You could also cut these out and put them in your printer, scan them in, and copy them onto a uh, watercolor paper or cardstock, or a paper of your choice. You could do it on tan paper, white paper. Do not recommend doing it on black. <laughs> But yeah, I really liked the style of this. Easy page just to do a flower and, you know, to practice. Another thing, you could just photocopy these and practice your leaves and your flowers of a certain type. If you found it in another book, you could try it out on here. Color combinations and see if you like it. Vanilla tree plant. Lilacs, Bird of Paradise. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm back to reading them again, aren't I? Sorry, I don't know this flower. Clematis. I have those growing. The Torch Ginger. That one I'd have to look up, which is nice because you get the um, name here. This is raspberry plant. I want to grow some of those in my garden. I love raspberries. <laughs> Hibiscus. Oak. Dogwood. I have one of these out in my backyard. I have an ornamental dark. It's a dwarf dogwood, but it's gotten quite big and it's gorgeous when it blooms. It's got gorgeous white blooms that cover the whole thing. Orchid. This is a rose. Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> Lily of the Valley. A coffee plant. How fun. And coffee beans. Tulips. Some of these are dark, but remember you can put white over the black. So don't feel intimidated about that. Cherry blossoms. That's pretty. 
a lot of pages in here too. So if you wanted to practice your coloring of flowers and or leaves, this is a great book for that. Butterfly Pea. Cosmos. Oh, okay. This one's really pretty. I've seen that a couple of gardens. They got like a little checkerboard pattern on the flowers. <laughs> Jasmine. We still have a lot to go through. <laughs> Hollyhocks. Oh, I like those. And they come in a lot of different colors, so you could really like, practice on that one. Orchids. A ginkgo. Yeah, some of these names I do not know. I have holly trees. I have four. I'd like to have less. <laughs> I have a, a lot of different varieties. So I have one that's got really dark, dark, almost um, black leaves and bright red berries up to um, almost a lime green with dots on the leaves and they have more of an orange berry. Some of them are big and some of them are small. The big one I really <laughs> am thankful it's not in my backyard. It's on the side yard. But if you walk around barefoot those leaves really hurt. <laughs> so I gotta keep them raked up all the time. Cherry tomatoes. Dahlias. I started growing some dahlias this year. Just some that are in pots. Goji berry. Lotus flower. And the poinsettia. That'd be pretty. I like the deep, deep red ones, but they come in greens and pinks and everything else too so you could have fun with that page the pine tree cherry tree hmm. <laughs> oh, i think there's one in here there we go daffodils the cranberry california poppies these are really pretty A fern leaf blossom. And then in the back of the book you have a couple of pages that you can test out your medium on too. And there's the back of the book. So yeah, that one's a fun little book. Like I said, I'll leave a um, link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care everyone. Bye now.